you know, run around and, you know, steam comes off of them. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like a bit of a stretch. Is that a pun? <laughs> I guess it was. I guess it was. You got love to be gone back yet. Love to tell me don't you grab it. This video is brought to you by T Blocks. Enjoy the content now, but stay for the shilling later. Welcome, the Lobster Magnet hey. friends. This is our super um, low tech setup. We don't have our nice overlays. We're just faces talking to a black screen. I assume if you... I had skills, I could like crop it out and then like, who knows? I, mean, I, I don't know if I'll do that though. That, that, that would take a lot of time, and this, this shouldn't take a lot of time. This is low effort content. And we are here to talk about the most recent chapters of One Piece. It's the name of the treasure and the grand line. Wasn't able to get the uh, Zavul in it. And since, you know, there's been a drought of content, I figured for all of you sitting there in your boring days who have given us the graciousness of your time and attention and appreciation, we're putting this out for you, even though we aren't up to our full low bar. <laughs> up to our full low bar? What does that mean? Uh, it means that, like, you know, the, these vlog reviews kind of have a low bar in terms of production. If, like, Red Letter Media, mm. them sitting around on a set and then having editing and things of the clip and music is, like, the highest bar for this kind of content, then, you know, our bar, you know, that we've set is, is much lower. And right now, we've, we're not even crossing that low bar. Okay. But hey, you could still... Well, actually, no, you can't. Yeah, I don't think you use the stickers. But, uh... Well, anyway, it's a One Piece. So... Oh, actually, I think I can. Can Hold you? On. Watch this. Let, let, let me see. Did that work? Yep, yep, it worked. <laughs> Although, unfortunately, though, I didn't center it, though, so I, I, some of it got cut off. But, you know, you could stick her away. I'll fix it for the next one. Um... So, Goro, you got, like, so much of Katagori versus uh, Luffy. What do, what, what do you think? You know, this uh, Dogtooth versus Luffy is great. Uh, I I like Dogtooth versus Luffy. I like all the build-up for it. Like, Luffy getting his ass kicked, like, nonstop. Like, this is something that I've missed so much. Yeah, we, we've not gotten, like, a brutal Luffy fight in a long time. I mean, the Don Flamingo fight, I mean... That was the was closest, but... Not not really. Like, you saw Luffy's, like, final power-up, and even then, like, that was... That was kind of like the nail in the coffin for Don Flamingo, right? Yeah, and kind like... of, but you remember, like, in that final flight, uh, fight, Luffy, like, lose, you know, loses uh, gear fourth, and then he needs, like, ten minutes to charge up, and then there's that scene where all the mooks in Dressrosa are, like, buying Luffy time to recharge... So that that, that oh, felt like yeah. it was a desperate moment. Um, that was like kind of similar to like the Rob Lucci fight where he used Gear Three and then he turned into Mini Luffy and then he just kind of had to endure Rob Lucci, Lucci before he could like go back to normal. Yeah, uh, like, but this fight against um, Dogtooth, he he's almost used every single trick in the book, and then and, so. yeah, and none of it's really worked, and he's just yeah. like. <laughs> Now, here, here's a question. Do you think the Snake Man form was, um, you know, something that, like... Because the interesting thing about how Oda handles Luffy's power-ups is that, like, L except for, like, the time jump, Luffy never really has, like, training arcs. We just mm -hmm. have to assume that, like, you know, when he's, like, doing his dumb stuff on the Straw Hat crew, in the back of his, like, you know, dumb mind, he's, like, thinking, Man, what if I did this? Maybe this would work. Because, like, think about it. Um, you know, I don't... I don't know how Luffy comes up with his attacks, you know, it just, but it, he's just got like, he's like a savant, but you know, you don't want to, I don't think you necessarily want to like highlight like Luffy's like savantness so much of like how, how he gets these power ups. Like he, he's just kind of like, Oh, you know, Luffy has to be talented at something. Like, why not just, like, give him this for... Well, like, here's my most bit. anal sort of, like, pronunciation that, you know, always kind of annoyed me, but I just kind of went with it. Like, how did Luffy go from getting his ass handed to him by Luchi once Luchi's identity and the CP9's identity is revealed to, um, you know, coming up with Gear Second in the matter of mere hours to fight, uh, you know, the Bluno guy? Um... Well, he did say that 
he observed like some of the CP9's abilities. Like they were jumping like so fast, like um, they were kicking their legs like so fast when they're doing things like Soru or something like that. So, and that, that gave him the idea to like circulate his blood so fast that he could like, you know, run around and, you know, steam comes off of him. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like a bit of a stretch. Is that a pun? <laughs> I guess it was. I guess it was. <laughs> Would you well, say well, that well Luke, all of Luffy fights are a stretch? <laughs> well, this is certainly being stretched out to its conclusion. Damn. But anyway, oh, okay, I could justify that, like, maybe, like, through his, like, experience, he came up with the justification, like, this is Snake Man. This is the Snake Man form, um, you know, to deal with category. And and I did, uh, like, I wasn't a huge fan of the chapter from last week, because um, it just felt like build-up, but I did love how brutal this most recent chapter was. I love category yeah. just, like, going all like, Aah! and I loved him using that, like, diced more Moichi thing. Diced? Oh, oh, you mean the, the, the spiked mochi? The spiked club, yeah. And he's yeah. just like wailing on Luffy and just kicking his ass. Yeah, and then like sort of slams him down to the ground like... Wait. Oh, there was like the very last panel of this um, uh, Luffy and... Um... Luffy and Dogtooth, like, punch each other at the same time, right? Yeah. I think what will uh, probably happen next chapter is that they'll both be na- knocked out on the ground, and it'll be sort of like a, you know, uh, t- 10, no- 9, 8, 7, 6 kind of countdown, and wh- whoever stands up first wins, and then the other will just, like, fall down and then, like, you know, admit defeat. Like, I'm hoping it's not, like... Like a kind of like a double knockout cliche thing, like in uh, some of the Rocky movies or something <laughs> like that. Well, I mean, the Rocky movies did that like back when it wasn't that cliche, but now everybody kinds of uh, kind of uses that. I feel. Well, Rocky invented the cliche and everyone kind of stole it, but it, it does feel like we're going to get like a Rocky moment here. That, 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 um, but, you know, I, I was generally pleased about how, like, you know, I, I loved Katagiri, the new attacks we're seeing from him with, the, like, you know, I'm going to shoot out arms, from, uh, you know, my fists from my arms. Oh, uh, like cooked mochi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then his, like, just his savage diced mochi and just, like, completely, like, you know, doing, like, inventive things that, like, I don't even think Luffy would be capable of doing with his, yeah. like, better mochi mochi fruit. Yeah, I, I kind of just want to see, like, because the thing about uh, Dogtooth versus Luffy fight, it's like we see um, Dogtooth's powers are just superior almost every single way uh, in Luffy's. And I want to see like Luffy like take like some kind of unique aspect of his ability to, um, <coughs> you know... To find something unique about his powers that can uh, overtake Dogtooth, in a sense. So you, you're you're not happy that you want Rubber to be shown to be superior to uh, like uh, Moichi, and uh, so you're you're not 100 percent happy with the Snake Man. I mean, Snake Man's pretty cool, no doubt, but like I, 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 I kind of just want. Like, I was a little disappointed by Snake Man. I I don't know. I thought he was going to be like more deformed. I thought it was going to be cooler than Bound Man. Although he does have that like that puff of um, smoke around his neck, and it feels like it's like you know the Fujin and Raijin, the lightning and thunder and lightning spirits in Japanese myth. Uh, vaguely, I think I only know them through Yu-Gi-Oh. Basically, <laughs> well, you you see them a lot, and if you like go to Google image search and you type Fujin and Raijin, you'll you'll see it, and you'll see like oh, that's what what uh, Oda's going there with uh, Luffy in this form. Um, which is a neat touch, but I don't know. I, I, I was I was hoping he'd be like really long limbs or something that would be like kind of freakish and disturbing. Are you doing a snake man attack on that bird over there, Isaac? <laughs> I can't even see it. Your arms are just going up like. <laughs> Yeah, and that's another question. What, like, made Snake Man different than, like, his normal attack in Gear 4 where he has, like, his um, punch, like, uh, go super fast and, like, follow someone? Um, I think they go on for longer, it seems. Like, that's my impression. It's like, 
I assume when he says Snake Man, it's like it's focusing almost entirely on like stretching out the limits of his arms. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. It, it seems like they're less like cannons, and it's just more like I'm gonna stretch my arms so fast that I'm gonna hit you that like you can't even see with your your goddamn hockey skills. Um, that, that, that's what it's gonna do. I, I do love that this is like devolved and just just like a no holds bloody brawl. You know, fists and fury and you know teeth gnashing. I, I'm surprised though that you you weren't like so sold. This was like the most hardcore Luffy versus Dogtooth fight that we've ever seen. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted, like, a good, like, emotional, like, climax, climax for this fight. I want something that, uh, you know, okay, like, the fight has been, like, so good so far. And I just don't want to, I'm, I'm worried that it's gonna, like, be a kind of cliche ending, almost. Well, bit. what do you mean cliche? Like, 90% of this is, like, you know, the most non-cliche thing would be, like, that um, Katagori kills Luffy, and then he's, like, so impressed by Luffy, he, like, wears his straw hat, and then he becomes, like, I'm king of the, gonna become king of the pirates, and then leaves oh, and the straw hats. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Luffy now, and then he just leads. Like, like, like I, I would kind of love that. Um, oh, my obvi- God. Obviously, that, that, that's never gonna happen. That's never gonna happen. That would but be the, the most that, unexpected thing to happen. Uh, I don't, I don't necessarily want that to happen, though. Even though that sounds like <laughs> an interesting story choice, that's something like along the lines of like Hunter Hunter that I could appreciate, you know. <laughs> but you don't, you don't but want that in One Piece. In the context of One Piece, I, I, I kind of want just like, I want Luffy to like maybe. Well, th- here's a question, and here's a larger question mm-hmm. of, like, shonen storytelling uh, at large. Mm-hmm. Like, we know Luffy's probably going to win this fight. Yeah. Um, but the question is, like, does his victory feel suitably well-earned for you? Because I guess that's the sort of line that draws between, um, like, something like fairy tale and One Piece, is that mm-hmm. Oda feels like he puts a lot more thought into how his characters win and how they earn their victories versus fairy mm. tale where it's like, you know, oh my God, you know, there's like literally a scene where like, you know, one of the characters is like, oh, my bones are crushed. What am I going to do? But I have friendship. And then they do some sort of super final attack <laughs> and win the day. And, and, you know, this is all about the friendship power ups. You know, the, 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 that's the genre. That's where the world we're living in, you know, five bajillion ways about how the power of friendship can overcome every obstacle. But the question is, um, you know, what makes it feel earned versus what makes it feel false and dumb and bullshitty? So mm. what? So what you're saying, uh, I, I'm sort of like hinting at, is that like you f- you're worried that like Luffy's gonna win this through some dumb bullshitty way versus like something you feel like would be earned. And I guess what mm. you mean by it would be better earned is if he used his like evolved his stretching rubber powers to show that rubber's better than Moichi. Um, I suppose so. Like, it, it, he uses it in, like, a unique way that only Luffy could do, and that, you know, Moichi Man can't copy. Like, I don't know, he, like, bounces, he does some crazy bouncing thing all over the place or something. And then, or maybe he just, like, eats dog tooth whole or something like that, and then just, <laughs> and he's like, ugh, I hate Mochi, but now I'm I'm not full and I'm not uh, hungry anymore. Yeah, that so. would be funny. I would I would actually love that if like Luffy <laughs> lose what he learned against the, the the biscuit guy, and he just like starts eating dog tooth to the point where like dog tooth's like I don't have enough mass to continue, and then Luffy like just walks off. <laughs> but it, yeah. it looks like we're getting a no holds manly brawl, bloody you know punching, pulverizing, and you know I I enjoyed it. I, I'd give the most recent chapter a nine and the previous one an eight. I'm a little annoyed about Snake Man, but I, I I thought it was like a really creative fight, and I loved all the stuff that uh, Dogtooth does. Yeah, uh, I think uh, I think Oda really likes these kinds of uh, these upgrades for his characters. He like can redraw them in like uh, different kinds of ways. Like it's almost like we saw. That chapter, Luffy looked like he went into Super Saiyan mode, basically. Yeah. Or, yeah. His like hair grew longer, like his, <laughs> the the he got the 
you know, for, gear forth eye shadow in his eyes and stuff. You know, he looks like a almost completely different character, but you can still see some resemblance of Luffy. It's just that's pretty cool. Yeah, like, Oda does like it. Well, we we all love transformations, and I'm sure Oda loves any excuse he can introduce a new one. Uh, so overall, what would you, what rating would you give these two chapters? Uh, I'll I'll agree with your ratings this time. Like, uh, mm-hmm. I I like I like these Dark Tooth vs. Luffy fights. They're so good. <laughs> Well, I just want this to be over. Uh, like, uh, you know, I've been saying this. And I, I do enjoy this fight, but, like, uh, you know, there's part of me that, like, just wants this to be done. I don't want, like, God, we're, we're getting up to the point where it's almost been 75 chapters of Whole Cake Island. 75 chapters? That's, mm-hmm. Is that a lot? Um, Well, think about it this way. Dressa Rosa is 100 chapters. Are you serious? Yeah. Dressa Rosa is 100 chapters? It was 100 chapters. It started at like seven hundred and it ended at eight oh one. Oh my! Wait, we're almost up to seventy chapters of Whole Cake Island. Seventy five chapters. So we're like three fourths of the way to like being as long as Dressarosa. Holy crap! Wow. Okay. And like after Zoe, I thought Oda learned his his message. Like you know, never again. <laughs> Yeah, um, that does get me kind of curious. Like, I, I don't want this to be like such a repeatable pattern for Oda to like try and like make these arcs so major, like just try and like through length of the arc alone. Not not like length of the arc alone. I mean, but like. I don't want him to feel like an arc has to be epic because of, I don't think, I don't want him to feel like he has to make the arc like an epic length in order for the arc to be epic. Yeah, yeah, I I, I agree, I agree. Like, um, you know, a lot happens in Skypiea, but that's like, you know, half the length of Dressarosa. And, uh, you know, like, as someone who would like to see One Piece possibly finish before I'm 40 or 50 years old... (laughs) Or before Oda is dead. Um, yeah, or before, most preferably before Oda dies. Uh, you know, I, I don't want every freaking goddamn arc to be like, you know, 75, 100 chapters. <laughs> Considering the fact yeah. that, like, you know, One Piece is definitely getting towards its tail end, but we still got we still have the Reverie. That'll probably be short. We still have freaking the Wano country. I'm sure that's going to be long. Oh, did you see, um, what's his name from the Grand Pirate Fleet? Is a bodyguard for... Yeah, the Buggy Reverie. the Clown! <laughs> the the, the freaking giant guy. Oh, uh, no, I, I, I no, enjoyed I, I meant the, um... Uh, what's his oh, name? Yeah, from yeah, 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 I'm sure, I'm sure uh, King, King Riku. Riku. You, you know, for a second there, I, I had to try really hard to, like, remember who he was. <laughs> I, I was oh, like... I know I've seen this guy recently, but I do not know who the hell he is. But he's, like, right next to the little Tauntaun people or whatever. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I thought he was, like, from several arcs. I, I completely forgot about King Riku. That, that's how memorable he was. Uh, but, yeah, yeah well, I guess we'll get to see them at the Reverie. Oda, like, you know, continuing to draw out all those things. Uh, but yeah, there is a part of me that like is ready for this to be over and you know move on to other things. There's some great moments in Totland, and I, I'm ready to go, go on to the next good thing. Yeah. So you, you agree with my scores? Yeah. Yep. All right. So thank you for hanging yeah. out with us. Any other final thoughts before we wrap this up? Uh, not that I could think of. Um, One Piece. I've been I've been enjoying it still it's still one piece i mean this arc maybe he's getting a little bit fatigued but um you know i'm hopeful for a good conclusion for it like the good conclusion for dog tooth versus luffy that's the most important thing i think true true uh, hopefully we get a good conclusion and then we can like speed everything up and luffy doesn't have to fight like all five bajillion of big mom's other people who are waiting for him and oda can come up with some excuse for him to get out of there quickly mm Yep. All right, so thank you for hanging out with us. And remember, lobsters and tennis, but don't you grab it. Do you like clothes but hate shopping? Then T-Blocks is the subscription service for you. But I know what you're thinking. But Lobster, how is that any different than Loot Crater and other subscription services? Well, T-Blocks sends you t-shirts, which is clothing, which is actually useful, unlike the useless swag junk that Loot Crate keeps peddling on gullible schmucks. 
And this isn't just knockoff brand crap. T-Box hooks you up with licensed shirts for all the stuff you love, because you need clothes. How else are you going to keep your puny human man flesh protected from the elements? T-shirts are useful for any occasion. Wear them. Give them to friends. Give them to enemies. Knit them together. Make a quilt. T-shirts are life. And you know the best part? It'll only cost you $6.99. That's right, you can get 12 shirts sent to you for once a month for only $6.99. And you know what? If ultra cheap licensed goods are too basic for you, then there's also the Community Tea Block set, which features original designs from the best up and coming artists so you can keep that hipster street cred. But I'm here to save you even more money! Use the code LobsterTBX at checkout and you'll save 10% on any order. Be a t shirt wearing God amongst mortals. Use the power of the most expensive seafood to get you the cheapest t shirts now! Lobsters made of lights